Ladies and gentlemen, have you heard the latest news? Police are using live facial recognition technology during Beyonce's concert in Cardiff. <gasps> That's right, Queen Bey herself is now the star of a new reality show, who's wanted at the concert. So the technology is meant to identify wanted individuals and ensure safeguarding, because nothing says safety like accidentally flagging someone in the crowd and causing a panic, am I right? As seriously folks, the police have been using facial recognition tech in England and Wales for special events like football matches and... The coronation? Uh, yeah, because if you're planning on committing a crime, might as well do it when the queen is around, right? Now, there are concerns about this invasive surveillance normalizing at events like concerts. I mean, what's next? Scanning faces at restaurants to make sure you haven't been banned for eating too much at the buffet. <laughs> Come on, it's called all you can eat, not all you can fit in your pants. Speaking of pants, some say the technology has dangerous effects on modifying behavior. Imagine a world where we have to wear disguises just to attend a concert. <laughs> Patty, have have you seen my cloud nose and fake mustache? Beyonce's in town. Oh wait, there's more. Ministers are calling for facial recognition technology to be embedded in everyday policing, including body word facial recognition. So not only will Big Brother be watching, he'll be following you around too. <laughs> I'm everywhere you go. And finally, police claim that the use of live facial recognition could be a huge leap in fighting crime. Maybe they're onto something. Or maybe they just want to join Beyonce's fan club. <laughs> Can't blame them. Who doesn't want to be part of the day? I. This podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures.